Hi everyone, Rory at Claude and Painting Studio here. Uh, today's painting guide, I'm going to look at uh, one of Napoleon's uh, Balkan troops. Um, we're going to look at the Dalmatian Legion. Um, I have got a model that's fairly close in terms of uniform style. Um, this is from um, the Perry Confederation of the Rhine range. It's an Anhalt uh, flank company Soldier, we're going to be painting it as a voltageur. Um, the main thing is it's a single-breasted um, jacket. Um, the cuffs aren't quite right. Probably should have pointed cuffs. And looking at a source image, it's more of a, a pom-pom than a plume. Um, but the main thing is a single-breasted jacket for me. Um, I've primed with Colorforge uh, matte white. And as is becoming a bit of a theme um, for my models, the first thing to do is apply a wash all over. Um, which is Army Painter Light Tone um, in a mix that's one part Light Tone Wash and two parts Quick Shade Mixing Medium. Second step is to give the model a dry brush with some Vallejo Model Colour Ivory. Um, and that's just going to establish some highlights and bring the white primer back up where it's been tinted by the wash. I'm going to tackle the skin first. I have Citadel Contrast Gulliman Flesh. I have got some Gore Grunt of Fur, another Citadel contrast paint, and I'm picking out the wood of the musket. Um, I will also use this on his pack, trying to leave the uh, stitching on the panels in white, just filling in the fur. And there's also his moustache and hair to do as well. There's a coat on top of his pack. Use some Basilicanum Grey to paint this up, avoiding the straps. A few things to pick out with Black Templar. Um, again, another contrast paint. Um, we've got a shackle. I'm going to try and avoid the cords. Um, boots and gaiters on the back of the model there's a cartridge box sort of mess tin and we've got scabbards here as well so I'll do all of them with contrast black Templar with contrast Dark Angel's Green, I'm going to pick out the plume and also the cords on the shako. Epaulettes. And finally, the sword knot. I have some Army Painter Speed Paint Enchanted Steel and I'm going to tackle the musket, barrel and bayonet. Next colour is Speed Paint Glittering Loot. I'm doing the chin straps there. Shackle plate and pick out some buttons. That's the end of the scabbard. And hilt of the saber. Let's add the details to the jacket and the trousers. Um, I'm using a cocktail stick, which is a really quick and effective way 
to do repeated um, dots. This is also good on things like um, Second World War German uh, camouflage uniforms. I'm just going to continue this pattern all over the cloth, trying to avoid um, the straps. So it's all based up with some flower tufts and ready to march on the battlefield. I hope you've enjoyed this painting guide. Um, I'll be back with some more soon. If you've got any comments, please pop them in the section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks for now. Bye bye.